Hello, I am Ignacio. Today we're going to be hiking in search of beautiful waterfalls in the Middle Fork Trail in the Cucamonga Wilderness. Coming from Rialto, California on the 15 freeway, you're going to exit Sierra Avenue and drive 6.3 miles and turn left in Middle Fork Road, which is this dirt road. You're going to be driving here for about two miles. I would recommend that you bring a high clearance vehicle or four wheel drive. Small cars might get stuck. Be careful because there's no cell service. You're going to need two permits, one for parking and one for hiking or backpacking in the Cucamonga wilderness. On the description of the video, I'm going to leave information of where you can get them. The third stream crossing trail, it's about 6.2 miles hike with an elevation gain of 1500 feet. In about three quarters of a mile, you will find the split. On the left, you will get down to the creek, and if you are backpacking, you can spend the night down there. For now, we're going to the right, because from up here, you get amazing views of the canyon. Hope that you're enjoying the video so far and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. It's best to start early, that way it doesn't get too hot. In the middle of the day, especially in the summertime, it is very hot. Always bring plenty of water. And if you have a filtration system, it is a good idea to bring it with you. One point four miles into the hike, we get to the split. The one on the left is actually the continuation of the split we find at the beginning. So they reconnect, and we continue on the right. In about 2.4 miles, we want to find an intersection that is actually really hard to see. It's right here. Don't miss it. Turn left. But if you keep on going that way and you find a camping site for backpackers, you've gone maybe one tenth of a mile too far. Just come back and try to find the split here. Go towards the creek and then turn a little bit left and then you will find this way so you can cross it. When there's a lot of water, it's dangerous, so please be extra careful. Depending on which day of the year you come, the water levels change. another angle from the creek where we just crossed and they just keep going and try to find another creek it is actually really close to each other and then from there you just keep going upstream and you will find the waterfalls in maybe about two tenths of a mile On 
this point on, there is not an established trail. So you just have to look your way up to the waterfalls. Some parts are very sketchy and slippery. So please be extra, extra careful. I recommend you bring water shoes. I want to say thank you again for watching my video please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you Click on the links on the screen to keep watching my videos. Thank you so very much. Until next time.